this event. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! Welcome to Finals 2 at the Finn District Typical New Event, sponsored by the U.S. Air Force. For 15 seconds, it's pre-programmed as usual. These robots are moving on their own accord without input from their human players. 292 leaving their community and returning to the switch, trying to get bonus for being in the balanced position. 461 joining them along with the blue lines. It's looking pretty tied at the moment. All teams have left their community scoring bonus points during the autonomous period. Now he's moving to tally off. The students have picked up their controllers and in charge of the robots they built over six to ten weeks leading up to this competition. 31-47 placing a cone in the upper part of their grid hoping to score five points for their alliance. Already lots of defensive actions here in the center of the field that will be highly contested throughout the event today. It's important that robots only contain one robot, one game piece at a time to make sure that they are in proper possession of the right things. 292 Panther Tech delivering one cone to the high part of their grid, scoring five points. The Red Alliance, that 7457 Super Duper, are trying to do the same on their side. The score is currently 52 to 70 with the Red Alliance in the lead, but the Blue Alliance is quickly catching up to them. Do not discount the importance of links in this game. Links are three horizontal pieces tied together. They can get five points for every additional that they score. Remember, ranking points aren't as important anymore. 328 using a unique yeeting design to pick up their cube and put it over the charge station, putting it in an optimal position for their teammate to pick it up later. 461, that's Westside Boiler Invasion making use of their loading zone in their alliance station. Their alliance partner has just dumped plenty of cubes from their player station so that they can just grab it and go. 292 Panther Tech using a cone, picking it up and taking it over to their grid station. About 50 seconds remaining in this match. The gap has widened, but there are plenty of points remaining in the end game, which will occur here in a few minutes. 69-56, that's West so that is <laughs> Shamrock Botics. They're opting to put a cone down in the lower part of their grid, scoring two points for their alliance. They might need those and that's as we total up our scores here in a moment. That train sounds means we have entered end game. The robots will start to make their way towards the charge station. They're trying to make sure it's in a level configuration to score the maximum amount of points of their robot. With this same lineup just a few moments ago, we saw all three robots balanced on their side of the charge station. We'll have to see if we can get that repeated in finals match two. This might be the difference. The Blue Alliance is already sitting pretty, ready for the Red Alliance. They may be elected to just stick with two, thinking they have enough points to total this up. We'll have to see after our final two scores have concluded. And the results of your finals two match, the Blue Lions hoping to win this to take it to a tiebreaker. Let's see who the winners of your match was. It's the Red Alliance. Congratulations to your first Alliance team. 74-57, that's super duper. 461, Westside Boiler Invasion. And 328, Pen Robotic Golden Rooks. Congratulations on your performance throughout today's event. Alliance six. Still with a lot of district points, but thank you so much to 292 Panther Tech, 3147, that's Monster Horsepower, and 6956 Shamrock Products for competing like crazy at the Tippecanoe Finn District Event sponsored by the U.S. Air Force.